Uh, hi, my name is Craig Evert. Uh, I'm an instructor at Iowa Lakes Community College in Esterville, Iowa. We, uh, we're attending Wind Power here because uh, we are in the education business and we have to know all of the latest advances for our uh, students' benefit and for ours in the industry. Uh, we here, we're here with about uh, 39 students and four instructors from our, from our campus. We have a, one of the earliest uh, wind technician programs in the United States. Uh, we have a very comprehensive program, so the, at least 60 to 70 percent of our program is electrical. We also have uh, mechanical, hydraulic systems. We get into turbine siding. Uh, we get into transmission and power generation. Uh, but the basis of our training, of course, is electrical. Well, I always tell our students in about the first week that we're, we're either using electricity when the turbine is off or we're generating electricity. And obviously, the turbine needs to be gener generating in order to pay for itself. So in the early part of the semester, in their first semester, we start with the assumption that our students don't know anything about electricity, and we build from there. However, we, because it is such a comprehensive program, we get into uh, data, we get into uh, you know, high voltage transmission, so we deal with things from very small currents to, to very high currents and uh, the entire scope of it. We, we have bench level trainers uh, that we start our first semester students on where they learn magnetism and then DC and advance to AC. Uh, again, because we, we're assuming that they don't know electricity, we also start them on the very basic understanding of a multimeter. In the same progression, uh, we move them into oscilloscopes and we also uh, you know, later in their, in their training move into power and power meters, power factor correction, and VAR. Well, we find that, you know, the students, because, because wind power can be so overwhelming, the students probably have just as much benefit by being here rather than us trying to learn and then take that back. So that's why we have students attending here. And there are so many advances that we as faculty aren't even aware of until we arrive. And so there again, there's the benefit of them being here and seeing it directly rather than transferred back through uh, a faculty member on campus. Yeah, we, I mean, we really, yeah. We, I mean, we look forward to a, to a strong partnership with Mager because of that. The, the uh, again, the name, you know, is, is so well known. And those of us who have been around a while can remember the old crank type. And when you talk about advances, there's your, you know, five, ten year history that's changed where your equipment now is is microprocessor controlled and and it's still doing the same testing it probably was 10, 20, 50 years ago, but the advances of it are things that even even we as faculty have a struggle to keep up with.